Well, what is up? Greetings and salutations. Good Sunday morning. I don't know what date it is. Is it the 5th, the 4th, the 6th? Something like that. It's Sunday. It's finally been a beautiful weekend. We went from miserable early spring straight into summer. As always, we skipped the part about where spring is nice. We just went from cold and rainy and threats of snow even on Memorial Day right into full-blown summer. And what am I doing? I'm in the garage procrastinating. I hope you enjoy this beautiful visual acuity that I've prepared for you so that we have something to look at. Um, Got to set the stage while I'm rambling, right? <clears throat> anyway, thanks to everybody for helping. We put out a video last week, got 50 views, but you know what? Out of those 50 views, four of them were people that knew what the hell they were talking about. I got some good advice. Um, if you didn't see this, go back and watch the video before um, and skip around me making finger and hand motion stuff and go to the part where I show you the games and show you how it's all screwed up. So anyway, I asked for advice and everybody, the, the consensus is that there's a loose, it's a loose chip, probably not a broken part, probably not wires, probably a chip. It's not on the cartridge side, it's in there. And I even got a recommendation for which chip to look at and what the schematic is. So hopefully it's not busted. Hopefully it's loose. And that's what we're going to open up today. Um, it is Sunday morning. I am the first one up in the house, as always. And so I get a couple of hours to take care of some business. It is not sweltering hot. I should be outside working in the garden. But I am procrastinating that because as much as I love the fruits of the garden, I really hate gardening. And I just don't have a green thumb and... It's something that, I don't know, I lost. It lost in the generations. Um, the person that I learned gardening, gardening from made it such hard, nasty work, which it is, but that I just don't like it anymore because it's just hard, nasty work. So that's where we're at, but I will have to get out there eventually, but I'm going to take this time to throw out a little content because I don't do this enough, and I, and I wish I did because I... This is a good way to interact with people, even though I'm not really interacting. But So, by the way, shout out to anybody who's still subscribing from back in the day and you're in here and looking for uh, Jam Band videos. They ain't coming anymore, okay? I'm retired. I'd love to do them, and I will. And if somebody wants to, me to come and videotape their stuff, or if somebody wants me to come and do a show, if you guys are still out there, hey, I still got the gear. I'm still ready to roll, okay? I got some great stuff for the projectors. And I've got a few other tricks up my sleeves that... You know, whatever. But if you guys were here because you came watching for tapes, cassette culture, shout out to those guys. You guys, um, I'm going to have some more stuff for you pretty soon. Um, my Intellivision buddies, thanks. Um, if you don't know, someday I'll tell the story here alive how I got in a fight with Tommy Tellerico. Um, needless to say, uh, I'm letting my Amico ride because I already paid for the $100 for the Founders Edition, and I think I'm probably going to get that, but I don't know. I paid for it three years ago, so the money's gone anyway. It's not like I need it, so I'm going to let it ride. But uh, what a fiasco that turned out to be. Ah, once again, got, got pulled in by the scam artist. And so I'm pretty wary, but I also have this gullible streak but then I'm back usually get pulled back out real fast so you know it didn't take too long but they're still out there sluicing the money and trying to get the big bucks but hey what do I know I am just uh, an old man with some video games anyway trying to get that Etsy shop link down below um, going there is no Intellivision stuff on there yet but there is a bunch of GameCube stuff and some home handmade jewelry that I'm working on because some I have some other hobbies that you haven't even seen yet that we're gonna get into because I think they're pretty cool um, so check that check that out hi to everybody um, everybody that showed up if you're here waiting for me to repair a radio well guess what we're gonna fix this thing next but um, as my brain doesn't function in the morning too well I figured the first thing I would do I so if you watch the last video, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of these games and show you what's going on. Because if you watch the last video, because of whatever's wrong with this thing, and again, it, it, my uh, when my daughter was a toddler, it took a tumble off the table, and it still works, but it doesn't. Um, 
So there's interesting errors that each game throws up. So I thought we'd just take a few minutes and play a few games and, and not play them because they're not going to play and uh, see what happens. See what they look like and document this because I'm going to open this up in a few minutes uh, after my coffee kicks in and my brain starts working properly. Um, and I can get into that headspace where I can do some actual work. Uh, if anybody knows about this, it's, you know, there's regular screws on the bottom, so I didn't, have, you don't have to buy safety screws. But then when you get on the top, there is a metal panel soldered, soldered over everything that you have to desolder to, um, get into there. So they were really protective of their stuff. And hey, you know what? This thing is 50 years old and it still works. So I guess they did something right. So let's get into this a little bit. Let's see what's going on. By the way, eventually as I get going, all these games are going to be put up on my Etsy page and they're going to be for sale. And I promise that they really work. This is the, the unit that's a problem, not the games. Um, and I've got instruction manuals and overlays for most of these. And I also, in another place in my house, have a huge set of game in uh complete inbox with some nice looking cardboard boxes they must have been put away for a long long time um that i'm going to get out including um a and again just keep checking back it's going to get up there but it's going to be uh in televoice and four all four i think there's only four was it uh solar sailor bomb squad space spartans and b-17 bomber and i'm trying to think if there was another one but all four of those game Complete inbox with overlays, um, instructions in the cardboard box, in the gray box, with an IntelliVoice. I don't have the box for the IntelliVoice, but I haven't worked in IntelliVoice. So that's a kind of a cool thing, and we're going to put all these in there. So keep checking the Etsy page. Uh, subscribe, because I'm going to try to do regular content here if I can. Um, so let's get into this. Let's see what's going on. We're going to uh, switch over to this view here for the old uh, the Daytron. There's a whole other story for this TV, but I do love the CRT, and so we're going to... It doesn't make nearly as good of uh, videos as it should. I'm not sure how to fix that, but... Well, actually, I, I think if I just put in a cartridge, it'll tighten up a little bit. So, I think we already looked at Night Stalker. That's the first one right here. So, that's what comes up on the screen. Oh, I'm going to reach for the games here. So, that's what comes up on the Night Stalker screen. Yeah. That'll help. Actually, I love the CRT um, visuals through the camera because that that weird sweep. I can't see that. Obviously, um, that's a that's a video. Really nice. So if I, I all right. So now I, I can't even start this. So let me reset it. And oh, and it's making that noise. So that's the same thing that happened last time. So this is another interesting thing. If you watched the last video, this is the same thing that happened in the night soccer game. So it's a consistent error. Such an odd, odd thing. That's why I'm documenting this, because I've never seen anything like this before. Uh, here's Reversi. This is the uh, black label Reversi. Uh, they did black and white labels in the late 80s after they got bought out like three times, but people were still making games for it. So uh, this looks like it's a similar type error to... The uh, night soccer. Hour. Oh, oh, see now this one's going to board size one one. I love that. See, but that should be pressing as one, right? So it's not taking the. Uh, oh, okay, maybe. The, so this actually appears almost to be working. So that's interesting. Uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, the other one. <laughs> Camel Mountain or whatever it's called. This is the weird 3D one. Um, and this one looks almost good, but that's not right. And again, this is almost right, but it's not quite. So this is this is interesting. Like some of these games. Um, are affected less than others. I'm trying to armor battle this is an armor battle there's none of that screen see now this ah see this is not and also it's not well obviously the graphics are through i'll tell you what one time i had something happen with my armor battle game this is one time when i was a kid when i was like eight years old 
and it, it didn't seat properly and it loaded a little a little wonky like this but it was exactly playable but it was nighttime and it was really cool it was a black screen instead of a green screen and like the colors were just a little bit off but it was uh and then of course when i reset it it didn't work like that ever again now here's baseball so baseball looks like it works but i can't pitch or do anything so Here's basketball. Again, I love the crowd noise. These, these sound effects are just ingrained in my head because I've been hearing them since I was six years old. I have no idea what's going on. I don't even remember how to play this game. So, that's basketball. Some of these games I've had forever and know how to play them. So my, all right, here's football. Give me a hard time right off the bat. Football doesn't even want to load. There we go. And uh, oh, it must be a night game. Wow, that's pretty cool. I just had an idea for a new type of football. Oh, I'm sure somebody's thought of this before, but you don't put lights on, and then you paint. Um, you paint the lines with glowing paint, so everybody can see where the lines are. And the ball is a Nia as as an LED, and each team has somehow LEDs on their helmets so they can see certain parts of them or something. And then they're and then but everything else is black. It plays in the dark. Ooh, that'd be a cool. That's a cool concept. I'm gonna have to develop that. Well, it's uh, one 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 for three, two for four, ten dollars. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Well, I think on the right-hand side, on the left-hand side, I would be on defense right now, and so I just pick, should just pick one. So it obviously doesn't work. Uh, pinball. This is something that one of my kids got for me for my birthday about five years ago because he didn't know what else to get for me. So he went to the video game store. Mattel Electronics presents B. That's awesome. Boop, 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 boop. Well, sounds like something's happening. Oh, well. Gotta oh, love that sound. Um, locomotion. Well, all right, so we're starting to get a pattern here. I'm probably not going to go through any of these. We're over, we're over time here. And what I wanted to see, oh, here, there's a different Night Stalker cartridge. So what I wanted to see is, is this Night Stalker cartridge, this one. Which was, um, there is an interesting thing. Let's see if this one works. I don't. Beautiful. I didn't set this up, but this is great. All right, let's get off the seizure thing. Okay. This is a Night Stalker cartridge that was, uh, let's see if we can get that. Made in 1979 in Hong Kong. Night Stalker. Okay. Pretty cool, right? Here's the same cartridge. But you see that sticker, and you see what this says? Uh, well, it should say 19... God dang it. Can you see it? 1979 USA. So, same cart. One manufactured in Hong Kong, one manufactured in America. That's not what the pull point was for this particular exercise. I just wanted to see if it was going to throw the same error. But I have a few cartridges that are like that, that are some one copy from Hong Kong. and no, it's doing the same thing. So that's interesting. So whatever the error is, it's consistent across cartridges. 
So, I don't know, I just thought that was this was a neat little exercise and a little documentation of this weird, quirky, blippy thing that's happening. Um, let's see, what do we got? Anything else in here worth taking a look at? Um, ba 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 boo boo boo. Uh, this is all like stuff that I don't know. These are like B, B games. Not, not all of them, but. Yeah, and players. So I didn't really press one and whatever. And again, I'm just, I can't do nothing. So, oh, game over. So obviously something was working there. All right. Well, that's enough of that. Just thought I'd throw this up there on a Sunday morning so everybody could have a little bit of something to do. Now, if you... Sorry about that. If you made it all the way to the end, if you actually watched this video all the way through this and you sat and watched for those stupid things, you listen to me Sunday morning rambling for over 16 minutes now. What I would like you to do what I would like you to do to do that, uh, to acknowledge that, is please put a comment down below that says, I made it through your boring ass video, give me something. And I will give you something. I'm not sure what, and I'm not sure when, but if anybody actually made it through this, Make me a comment down below if you made it down this far. It says, hey, I made it through your stupid video. Send me something. And I will. Now, until then, thank you. Thank you for everybody who's hung in. Thank you for everybody who's still watching these stupid things. And we're going to get into this and we're going to open this up. Buy something at the store. And next video is going to be me opening this up and hopefully finding that loose chip.